Sandra. Good to see you. Get your boats here. Hello, Luris. Business looks good. Tell Marcos to come down here himself, if he wants his money. Huh? No, but I'm here now. Look, I was a little late paying. Now Marcos says I owe him double because of interest. I don't have it to spare. You should have thought of that when you borrowed Drachmi, Luis. But my family... It's hot. I'm in a bad mood. And you are going to pay. We both know it. Now the question is, what do I break first? You? Or your merchandise? You told Marcos I've paid enough already. I won't bow to, to to a mercenary or to someone foolish enough to borrow money from the Cyclops. From the Cyclops? That's how he bought his vineyard? Look, I know you'd be dead without Marcos. What with him taking you off the street as a kid. But you know what he's doing is crazy. You're right about that. Forget the Drachmi. Marcos and I need to have a talk. You're letting me go? Then at least take this sword. Nothing special, but it's better than that rusty one you've got. With the Cyclops involved, I'll need it. You better set Marcos straight or you're both dead. Got a job to do, Cassandra? Running out of time until the Cyclops comes for you, Malaka. He wants his money. Could I have an extension? When he sails back to Kefalonia, he'll come and break you as soon as he docks, if you don't get it. Now, let's be civil. You can't hide behind your glories, Mistios forever, Marcos. He'll kill you, the mercenary, and that little runt girl that hangs around. Of course, not a problem. I'll get the Drachmi. Good. Or I'll come and watch the Cyclops feed you to his goats. Ah, Cassandra, I can tell from the smile on your face, Duris has paid you your drachmi. Who's smiling? I just heard where you got the drachmi for the vineyard. Are you out of your fucking mind? We can get the money back, can't we? I'm sure it's possible. You've made an idiotic promise, Marcos. One we can't keep. I thought you were invincible. Maybe I am, but you're not. <sighs> I long for the old days. Remember them? They were simple. You had nothing, young and alone, and I had everything. And I gave you the world, Kefalonia, in the palm of your hand. Alexios! Don't see fishes like you every day, huh? <laughs> oh. Ha! You hungry? How about we make a deal? I do something for you. You do a few things for me. Everybody wins. Best offer you're gonna get. Huh? Think about it. Wait! 
Kefalonia. <laughs> Some gift. You were nothing without Marcos. And look how far we've come. From an orphan on the streets to a Mystheos with a hovel. And now the Cyclops will take everything away. I can't protect you from him forever. He'll kill me too. Oh, don't be scared of him. And look at you! How could I go up against him? With what weapons? A rusty spear? A broken bow? There you are. Talking around the temple won't save you from me, Marcos. Drusilla! I was just talking about you. You were? I need that wood, Marcos. These new bows will be the talk of the island. I can't make anything with those bandit malakes stopping the wood shipments. Of course you can't. Why, I was just filling my friend Cassandra in on the details. She already has a plan to deal with these bandits. You know me. Always prepared. What did I tell you? She will leave no stone unturned. I don't care who does it, but someone better got those bandits. Today. A wonderful idea. I, for one, uh, need to rush home. Cassandra, I've cooked up a plan for our Cyclops dilemma. See me when you have time. If you want your wood, you'll have to fix my broken bow first. Hmm. I usually only pay when the deed is done, but shit's moving at a snail's pace. Follow me. These balls will make me rich as Chrysos. They're that good, are they? War's brewing. The Athenians need good bows if they want to hold off the Spartans. Everybody benefits, I guess. Who are you? Marcos? You should be tired of this small-time shit. You'd make a fortune in this war. Plus, I hear you're a secret Spartan. That was a long time ago. I'm a Kefalonian. Hand it over. There you go, good as new. That bow is as strong as Heracles himself. Give it a try. And not a moment too soon. The Cyclops is more important than a boyer. We need to talk. Precisely what I was thinking. Let's hope Drusilla has a good sense of humor. Well? Your plan? Right. The Cyclops and I have a score of Drachmi to settle. The same score as you, my rough and tumble friend. He wouldn't be after me if it wasn't for you, my friend. <laughs> eh, right. But I swear. This will put an end to it. If he insists on sending his goons after us, we'll make sure his last good day was yesterday. Let's hear it then. What do I have to do? What will we do, you mean? As the brains to your brawn, I consider it a joint effort. Of course you do. Think. What does the Cyclops value most? His men? His land? His ships? No! His obsidian eye! Get to the point, Marcos. Oh, fine. We're going to steal it. Are you crazy? You borrow his drachmi, then you steal his eye? Having it means we win. Then it goes to market. We kill two birds with one obsidian eye. <laughs> He'd better hold still. Or he'll lose both eyes. No, no! It has to be done without the Cyclops knowing. You cannot be seen. Then my new bow will come in handy. He keeps the eye in his house. It's too valuable to wear out. A wise choice until you show him the error of his ways. Wait for the sun to set, sneak in, and then bring me the eye. Fine. But you won't get away with being cheap. Cheap? You wound me, Cassandra! It's your defining trait. Bring me the eye and I'll prove you wrong. Remember, not a soul can see you. 
Got it. Pull this off, and our heads won't be the Cyclops' trophies when he comes back. I see you. I need cover. If I'm quiet, I can hide in the bushes. Malaka, must be some eye to have that much protection. I have to stay out of view. know how many of his guards were there? All for a fucking rock. This rock could buy a house, my friend. And yet, it's still not enough to pay back the Cyclops. Oh, don't be upset. Think of all the fun we've had. The Cyclops is going to kill us, Marcos. It's as simple as that. And there's nothing fun about it. This will work, I promise you. Would I lie to you? Don't make me answer that. Take the eye, but don't sell it yet. No vendor would believe we came by it lawfully. They know exactly who it belongs to. Fine. Better your pocket than his socket. I think that's enough for one day. Quiere, Marcos. Uh, wait! I saw a boat. One I've never seen before. So? The vessel's too good for this dirty town. It must be the Cyclops, and he brought friends. He's back? Ugh. I can never catch a break, can I? Take them out, and that's one less thing to deal with. Besides, these strangers look rich as Chrysos. The Cyclops pays them well. It's win-win, my friend. It can't hurt. What do I have to lose? You? You're a winner if I ever saw one. Then where are they? In an abandoned house on the eastern coast. Who knows what golden fortunes shine in their hideout? Send them to Hades, then loot them for all they have! We'll be rich! I'm keeping some of these golden fortunes, though. No negotiations. Not even a drachme for the man who sent you? The rest goes to pay your debt. These are my terms. Oh, fine, fine. Now teach those strangers what it means to be Kefalonian. Draw blood or bleed. <laughs> 